Hey everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to more Fake Grand Order. We're gonna continue the salt train, because there is plenty of s salt in the desert. That we... That 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 we can con conclude, sir, that uh, there's plenty of salt here, mainly because of me. And hello, Sakura, welcome here. Welcome to the salt train. And hey, Nana. Uh, yes, I can do that, I think. Uh, see how much... I, I don't have any space right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up that in a moment, uh, Nana. So I can add you up there as well. And the uh, salty sand sounds extra... Well, it does, it does good awful on my complexion, I'm just saying. To the desert of Atlas. Are we gonna, are we gonna fight a god guy? That would be something. Turn up the volume a little bit so we can hear the juicy music. The juicy music! An assassin berserker caster. Are we gonna fight one of these weird sea stars again? I guess we're gonna. I'm gonna take a berserker with me. Gary gave me eerie. Gave eerie. What? He did that? Oh, now I need to take your 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 servant Sakura. Uh, damnations for giving a carry a gun. Uh, let's go with that, and we're gonna switch you around with that, and then we're gonna give you bullet guy. Well, the the carry carry it uh, as we just talked about, and uh, we're gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably go with this one. I, I have started to really like this one. Be able, being able to stun, switch out a little bit, and you know, adapt to whatever we're gonna fight. I can see areas. What really? No, I had no idea about that. I need to check on that. And that's a lot of sand. It's still as wind as ever. Everyone, please make sure not to lose sight of one and another. No problem. Leave it to me. After all, I've already done this once. But didn't you end up lost? Holy crap! <laughs> it should be around here, but I see no signs or trace of it. Not even a building to serve as a guide and... Oh gosh. Distance and direction are both correct. No one on the round table can match my sense of direction when traveling. Believe me! I'm confident of that. Well, unless what I'm, the man said was wrong. In that case, we are out of luck. A message from the Lord Hundred Personas. Listen up, y'all. The place you're looking for is Osamandeo's favorite ruin. It's a place that Osamandeo's has no power over. A building that even he can't investigate. Lately, an odd figure has been frequently spotted around it. This is also very interesting. He just said he wears a red black hat and turban, and that he's from the Western Lands. I hope that helps identify him. What? He bl a black cape and a turban? My first thought would be Saladin, because I would actually love that. But he's not in the game, as I know. Here's his map to find the location. Leave it to me. I'm an expert when it comes to the desert. P.S. Osmandia's divine beasts wander around the ruin. Don't fight him. The message ends there. There's no more support from Lord 100 Personas about the latest developments. Oh, it's alright. It's probably nothing. Thanks for delivering the message. Hmm, who can that be? Now I'm curious as fuck. And all this sand in my eyes. Anyway, the message mentions some... Someone from the Western Lands. Do you think there's something about this appearance that will make it obvious to him? Like some sort of clothing that stands out? He mentioned a turban! Yes, the region lies more to the south, but... T.E. Lawrence, common known as Lawrence of Arabia, fits the description. Who? T.E. Lor... What? Lawrence! Who's that? Yeah, who the fuck is that? Why is Gudak and Mash Yeah, that is a good question, Sakura. Why don't you wear a mask of some sort? Protection, you know. An Englishman who helped lead Egypt to independence. His story has also been made into a movie. 
I haven't watched that one. Wow, so even a figure like that can become heroic spirit. But I'm afraid things just don't add up. Here you are. Sorry, it's an emergency. No, I have no idea who, this, who that is, actually. I know what who E.T. is, but he was not named Lawrence. Don't tell me Lawrence showed up. Eep! But, but what is with you guys? Stop! No! Don't go this way! A weird face on the line, but oh no! <laughs> Too creepy! Almost bought the monster on Kunlun! And laser beams! Why do laser beams shut out of his eyes? Because that is cool. Quit it! Quit it with the projectiles! I'm a caster, you should be coming at me with your fists! What do that, Lana? Where are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love Sunsang. A gross situation. She got lost in a sandstorm, huh? Let's rescue her! Sorry everyone, believe it or not, she doesn't mean any ill will. <laughs> I Was a British general helping Ar Arabs in uprising against Turkey? Well, how about that? And hey Vodka, how is it? And Sphinx are creepy, that's for sure. I mean, I maybe I did read his name somewhere in history books and all that, but honestly, I have no other idea who T. E. Lawrence is. That makes, I mean, seriously, that 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 is a name that doesn't really re ring to me, which is odd because I do know about this guy Samoheya that was a Finnish sniper, that be uh, known as White Death by the Russians and all that. He was fighting the Winter Wars. Then again, I didn't really read too much about um, those uh, weird weirdos. Lawrence of, of Arabia, yeah. I have no idea who that is, actually. Now I need to read up about him, though. Because I'm curious who that is. Mm, I'm gonna roll. So, but I guess everyone knows who he is, who he is and I don't, so I guess... <laughs> Well, look Cleo going! Ooh. Mm. Something like that. Oh, that's good, my black beard. I I'm happy I'm not the only one, Sakura. I'm happy. Which is odd. When I, I, I can know history about random characters, but I don't know basic ones. And, oh no. That nay, nee, this this sucks. This sucks. It sucks a lot. Why did I do that? I don't know, but whatever. Yes, because let's do this. That means for me, I know it's to Earthshine. Yeah, I mean, he was part of, uh, uh, as I said, the uh, Arabian War and all that. Well, I can imagine he is uh, Nana, though. Definitely, I have no doubt about it. It's just that I got so surprised with the talk about this guy here, and I'm like, who? I mean, oh yeah, that's get my black beard. Nay! Damn! They evaporated her. That is not good! And I made a movie of me? Well, that is pretty neat. And it was Sakura's Ibaraki. I'm terrible sorry, Sakura. She died. She died for my sins. Oh, man. Ah! Yes. I'm happy you're fine, Sakura. <laughs> Who needs banana? I think she is pretty fun, actually. Amp strength, that doesn't seem good. Ouch. I forgot to activate this one. <laughs> well, I have mash you there now. You can't complain. <laughs> well, you can, but I uh, don't know why. Fun, lots of fun. That doesn't. That doesn't seem. F that was not fun at all. That was a lie. 
Fuck off, you fretta! Double Blackbeard, yes, that is the one only true way to play this game. Only one way to go. Double Blackbeard. He has so much beard that is growing out from elsewhere. Uh, with the verses. Bullying now, poor Cleopatra. I feel bad for her. I like her. <laughs> Almost fun as bullying. Uh, why would everyone want to bully me? Wow, that hurts. Snappy dude. This, well, I don't like this. I don't like these monsters, man. They suck. Just because I can. Really, we're fighting everyone's face. Yeah, really? I hate it. I mean, it looks cute and all that. It looks a bit hot. Gold clap. Yeah, it's not a swing. I was afraid I was gonna fight a swing or something like that. I don't like them. <laughs> it's cute. Three hundred k, hundred k. Yes. Why? Why do we need to add add more monsters to this? Wasn't this bad enough? Is it? Is it, or is it just me that find it fun that I have usually more troubles with the random minions rather than uh, the boss fights here? I've been struggling with the boss fights, of course, as well. But honestly, I felt more pressure from fighting the randos. I'm just saying. Dude, that battle is over. Sunsang is safe. That is great to hear, but where is she? Gosh, Toda, honestly, you must stray away from your mentor, you hear? A good disciple is supposed to be aware of his mentor at all times. Don't lose sight of her. Is kind of the point where replying would be stupid. <laughs> if anything, I was the idiot. It's true, you're a good mentor. I've never seen a monk who makes her disciples so <laughs> disciples so friendly. What's that? Was that a compliment? Was that a compliment, wasn't it? Yes, true, true. Looks like you're finally ready for s the Stravaka. Stravaka? Okay, that was a Stradivarius, but... Close enough. That was Stravaka, not Stravaka. I know they what she's saying, but I'm glad it all worked out. You may have been in panic, but she was able to ward off the Sphinx on her own. The Sphinx, you say? Uh, is that... What did you do with the Sphinxes? Sphinx? You mean those weird animals? There were lots of them over there. That's it, the message says Sunkin's bees would be hanging around the ruins we're looking for. If you think about it, they serve as a landmark, huh? So is this also the Buddha's protection? How terrifying. Sounds like just go wherever you want. Leave the protection to us. <laughs> what? You want me to lead the way? Oh, I can see your like big sparkle eyes over that. Well, why didn't you just say so? I'd be happy to. Follow me! Oh, but watch out, okay? The back of my neck has been tingling, sort of. Like, if it's something bad is closing in from behind, you know? Why can't I see way, way back in the sand, behind the veil of wind and sand blowing by, you see Blackbeard staring at them? <laughs> it's probably a violent boulder or something, so be sure to catch it when it comes rolling or... What? A bad feeling, huh? I can't laugh at your intuition anymore. Looks like we better hurry. Narni! I prefer 300k Gigant Gigant. No, I don't, Sakura. That is awful. I hate him. <laughs> oh, sounds like. Yeah, that is how I feel. Sphinxes that way, then we go that way because Sphinxes are no good. Because Sphinxes are ass. They are the kind of ass that you want. You, the Death Star Rush like, that you guys want to smack, silly. Well, stop bullying Gal. I don't know what you mean by that vodka. What is that about? I don't. I don't know. You. 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 You're talking weird. You make no sense. Yes, Steph. I'm gonna go with pages. What the nanny? I care that. <laughs> uh, let's go with that. <laughs> and hey, King. How is it? And you haven't missed too much. You missed my glorious battle against. Uh, uh, yeah, you missed it. I'm just saying. He won. 
Yeah, I've only done one arrow so far. I haven't gone too far. I'm slow. And we did talk about E.T. Lawrence. No, T.E. Lawrence. E.T. Lawrence. E.T. Lawrence phone home. Master, I can see the shadows of multiple sphinxes beyond the particle tall sand dune there. Let's not go there! They are circling that area for monitoring, so the rune we're looking for must be right in front of us, but... The problem is what to do about them all. Take on them and it will be wrecked. Yeah! One was enough! We'll have to find another way to enter, although it's easier said than done in this sandstorm. If only we had the doctor to back us up at a time like this. Foo foo. Then how about this? We use Tora's rice to feed them one by one. One on a this, Samsung, you stay here. <laughs> you stay here. Why? It's not like it's a Koan, right? I think it's a pretty good plan myself. Well, feed a bit. It could work. A good meal knows no bores. I thought it was a pretty good idea, but give it up this time, Samsung. I can hear horses. Arm sold your head this way. This pressure. It must be a night of run. Come in for a rise at them. You know? I think that would be good. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now, what should we do? Actually, we are stuck between uh, uh, night and sand. We must fight them. Here, I'll lead the way this, on this one. They, are you sure? Yeah, you haven't forgot what Arash said, have you? Of course not. I'm gonna say this is one and only misjudgment. As long as I have my spear, I shall never fall. As long as I have my shining silver arm, I <laughs> So, <laughs> Senpai, to let him fight a knight of the round table would be... Of course we would have more just that match. I call up to you. This is the third time steering up trouble with you. The first was when you were chased from the whole city. The second was the villa of the mountain people. The new time was I granted my wish of facing rebel leader. But that all changed now. Lancelot, Rider Knight of the Round Table. I have come in the King's order to take you all into custody. If you resist, I will show no mercy. But I'm already mercy. Surrender or fight, whatever you creed, I shall comply. It almost rhymed, it sounded sexy when you said like that. He can comply me anytime he wants. Master, I have a feeling I know that person well. Huh? You do? Woo woo! I have no intention of surrendering, but before we fight, there's something I'd like to ask. So, Lancelot, for what reason are you serving the current king? Is this an illusion? What kind of sorcery is this? Betty? Sir Betty, is that you? Nonsense. Impossible. You will never. Hey, Nano, no. we're all the knights of the round table like that. Just because Betty broke away from the round table, don't you think they're overreacting? Maybe, mm, no. Maybe they just cranky about it. Even though I'm an illusion, it does not change the reality of my question. Answer me, Sir Lancelot. Why did a knight like you choose to serve the Lion King? Sir Gawain believes the king no matter what. Sir Mordred said the mere act of opposing the king is sacrilegious. Tristan asserted that the king's commandments are merciful actions. Well, they sound just like bonkers dudes. How about you? Can you call the light that fall burning a village to the ground King Arthur's job? All units, prepare for battle. We'll be detaining the rebels. Rebels? Lancelot, let us hear your answer. You are correct. I will not call that the king's work. I swear allegiance to the king of knights, not the Lion King. But it has nothing to do with my duty to capture you. Are you grievous in front of you? Anyway. That is it. If Agron even allows your presence. Yet you still fight, knowing all of that. Farewell, I have a lot of things to say to you. Salenda has drawn his sword, he's incredible stubborn. I somehow get it. Yes, admitting the king is wrong, but still fighting. He's not good at preaching too. Man, we back up Betty. The way things are going, I have a feeling we can win we what we can. And I about to say. I ah, it's lagging, I do hope it's not lagging too much. Oh man, internet being internet. And hello, Epicarots. And yeah, he do looks nice in that. I like that purple armor, man. It looks fab as hell. Uh, use level up, seeing burning. Mm -hmm. mm. 
You know, when it comes to these uh, craft essence you get from Valentine, I would probably save them. I would stash them away. As yeah, Sakura says, our servants worked hard for those. I I can't just throw. It. I can't. I can't just. I just can't throw their will. Can't throw their wills away. They work hard. It's Valentine. Oh, that's a tough nut. Holy crap. Well, that makes sense, Vodka, but uh, in the end, though, I think it looks pretty nice. Guess it could have been a little bit different, but... Uh... Well, there we go. Ah, really, King? But still, though, I, I, I still want to save it, because... I don't, I don't know why. It just, it's just like a nice thing, you know. Because I was, I mean, they, they, they worked hard for those. I mean, even Black Bear died for our sins. <laughs> Fuck Jesus! Say Black Bear. I wish Lance had a fabulous Mexican. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome, actually. But luck. Uh, let's see. Might as well do like this. Normies explode! Yeah! I mean, Blackberry is fucking hilarious. I love it. Watch voice black. Ah, oh, man, I need to do that, but I don't. I hope it's not too much, too much spoilers in those. Ah, yeah. Stop hitting us! You rude, rude people! Hey, he has a rude. Ouch, a stab is the. Oh, yes, it was not on uh, Chloe, so it doesn't affect her in that regard. I could have been, I could have been bad, I'm just saying. No, I don't want, I don't want more, I don't, fuck Tristan and Despacito, man. Fuck Tristan. <laughs> man, Tristan is just scary, man. Well, he did I? Uh... And Cass Guild was oh, man, do I need to wait for that long? Gosh dang. What? I'm gonna fight him? I didn't Oh sweet baby raptors. What does this do? What does this do? Shane class Oh no. Not another little cancer ass bag. Nay. This is nay. Oh, I thought I was just gonna fight randos. How? Nay. What the hell? This is unfair. This is no. This. This. This is not right. And hello, my Meteor. I'm happy that you're lurking. <laughs> you're you're my lurker number one. I should use that way before, but fuck, damn, I don't like this guy. And I can't debuff him, right? Yeah, why would you be able to do that? Because that would be good tactics. Ah, oh, fucking damn. Mm, I I hate Lance a lot already. God damn. And hey, Draconic as well. And everyone else that joins. <laughs> Barely made the death on the bastard! Holy fuck! Oh! This is... Uh, so many guns. <laughs> <laughs> do any damage at least he doesn't do much damage either I'm happy for that okay so we okay we 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 on the clear Lancelot 
We are on the clear for that. Oh god damn it. And hello potato, how is it? I hope it's not too bad. I hope it went well with whatever you need to do about it. And here I am fainting Lancelot. Uh, I hate him already. Ass bag a lot. <laughs> do any damage. It's bullshit. He's worse than Tristan. Well, at least he doesn't do anything funky in that regard. I'm gonna switch out. Nay, nay, not you, Black. I'm sorry. I want this guy out. Whew. Ah, uh, move it. Oh God. I don't like this guy. Man. The missing answer. Well, I mean, that, that buff is bullcrap. I hate it. Who would win three archers? <laughs> What's up <that> again? <laughs> well, fuck this bug. Oh my god, Mash is already almost dead. Mashu, do your noble sacrifice again. I feel awful, but it's for great cause. I think at least. <sighs> at least I ought to do some bonus damage. That's what... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I mean. Bye yeah. <sighs> bye. Oh! Haha! <laughs> See, Maji survives. Mas is strong. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get the MP. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. This is not good. Hi. 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 I sing. By. Oh my God, this is bad. Is it not? Why did Vodka is taking the old moments? Um, I really, I really don't like this guy. God damn it. What is, what turn is he in right now? Ah. And yes, Mashu is a strong girl. I like Mashu. You are that vodka. You are that. Goddamn. <laughs> oh man, please, Masha, survive another round. Please survive. I mean, I know, I know, Lancelot, we don't connect well. I don't know you so much, but please don't attack Masha for another round. Please don't. <laughs> what? I like Masha, but it, it's not my fault she has the one ability that is literal. Please attack me. Isn't Come on. Not. Yes. Well, Maju survives. If Maju survives this entire thing, I will fucking laugh my ass off. And ah, oh, fuck me. I thought I was gonna get out Blackbeard. This is not good. Whoopsie. Uh, I just did his. <laughs> if just it won't help you. What? What are you talking about? I will survive this. I'm pretty sure. Mm, I don't know. Just go. Are you catch up, potato? I'm happy you're catching up, but holy crap! Yeah, defense doesn't really help for Masher or. Uh...
Wow, you don't like the lolly, don't you? Holy crap. Uh, uh, well, at least some will die here. Yes, vodka, that is true. I do prefer my ladies and gentlemen to be more mature. Zany. <laughs> oh gosh, that felt good. <laughs> Wow, he really doesn't like them, and everyone is still alive. What is this for weird madness? Holy crap! I don't know. Why are you doing more damage? When it was a good choice. I mean, I know I understand you do more damage, but uh, I'm still I'm just backing up. <laughs> I am. I'm. But I'm, why am I bad? I'm doing my best here to help them. I mean, I guess Lancel doesn't want to hurt. I mean, I'm 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 actually surprised Mash will be surviving so far. Holy crap! Ah, that is so little damage. Nay, hey, Chloe. Yes, and there comes the right man for the job. Finally. <laughs> And uh, let's see what's gotta go roll with. Something like this, I think. Oh god. I'm 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 seriously amazed I managed this. And Mashu survives this? See, there is no boss in the world that can defeat Mashu. I'm just saying guys. See that <laughs> Woo! My god. Oh I had Nato Chris in the background there as well. I forgot that. My <laughs> <laughs> Bush in his way. Of course. That is how I'm playing for today. I thought everyone knew that at this point. I bullshit myself to victory. Oh my god. <laughs> I can defeat Lancelot, but I can't defeat Siegfried. <laughs> what? It was all IKEA 200. No, it was IKEA 9000. It was beyond anything. No good. It's because you had saying those weird things. No, that man is just too tough. Tss, this is nothing compared to Lord Arash. Regret. Foo foo. Master, we must retreat. <laughs> I'm so happy she survived so long. Uh, but we. <laughs> Is this that? Is it that painful for you? Oh, even even I never wanted to win so. Even bleh. give it up. This is awesome and deals desert. No mountain people will come to your aid. Fleeing to the desert, come back around on you. We can speak of it as we return. What are you doing, scoundrels? Do you wreak havoc even knowing that this is Sankey's most cherished land? Either that is Nether Chris or. How can this be? Ah, it is! Ha ha! And she literally covered the entire sky. Big Nito, I like, I like that. Nani? <laughs> What's going on? A super Nito Chris, I can live with that. I can't over dead me. <laughs> uh, 
Why is it that meme? I'm just trying to survive. Ah, that is it. Uh, no, no, I'm just reacting to someone else playing. Is it not me playing? Have you seen my hands? Nope. I've been, uh, I've been secretly. This is actually just a recording of someone else playing. Uh, I call that that gamer, sir, game a lot. Because he game. Or actually, it's them because there are many people that is like a hive mind. They're like, oh, I guess I'm gonna use writers here. And I love uh, David. To David, if, if I pronounce it right. Oh my god, I, I, how, how much else am I gonna bullshit the, this uh, entire thing? Uh, you know, Gilgamesh stepped on me. I know, it, it's Medusa, I like Medusa, let's go Medusa. And of course we're gonna take in Aina the Blackbeard and then we're gonna take Aussie. Something like that, what, what did this... Uh, Craft shit. I play Gods and begin down with you. Yeah, sure, let's run with that one. Yeah. It's such a high level right? <laughs> oh yes! I have mastered the mind of reaction. I'm I'm reacting so much that the I, I warp the reality around me. Reaction? I make the world be okay, that's that's not I have I have godlike powers apparently. <laughs> uh Use my Medina. Okay, King, I'm gonna do that. Uh, so that, and that's how it's good, David. Grail teach. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a Grail teach. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. So join. Uh, hey, <laughs> my name is Nidikris. I'm Pharaoh, who has been assigned this Atlas Institute by the Sun King. Fear me, worship me. <laughs> Why do you just imagine her standing with a microphone like? If you do, I shall at least spare your lives. Or to put bluntly, leave or surrender. As you can see, I'm very powerful. <laughs> Giant Nidigris. <laughs> oh wow, it's a Tatahagata... Tata... Tat... Tatahagata class? Whoa. I mean, look, she's, a, she's big, really big. I don't think we can beat her. Let's run, Lano. Just a lot drama. Can you lance me a little bit so I get my courage back? His Majesty the Lion King told us that the 40,000 years, 40, years ago in the desert to live a giant of destruction. Could this be that giant? Idiot, take a look. It's an illusion of Magecraft. She's not actually here. She's just controlling it remotely. Focus to make sure the formation does not fail. Everyone, now is our chance! Yes, everyone, to the other side of the sand dune. Shine into the Sphinx head. We can ignore that giant, really? Okay, say, say, strange lane. Lay <laughs> this is no time for man, it's quite blabbing around. You're so much work. Oh, she's helping us. Oh, Nita Chris is so, she is so sweet. What? Giant with giant, Nita Chris with giants. Are you brought Medusa instead of Midi? Ah, okay. Now just me that is dumb. Kermit is not dumb, Nana. Kermit is charming. I, I... I would say that at least. I'm not usually sexually attracted to frogs, but Kermit is a different one. Don't let them get away. Follow them. I'm getting an ominous feeling about what lies ahead. Oh, so last one, it's a Sphinx! Oh yeah, dude, run! I've heard of the Sphinx nest! Before we can go off the rebels, we'll be in danger. Do not panic. All units, square formation. We will end like the Sphinxes first. They aren't going to let us go either, Lana. Let's crush them to bits. Yes, I hate to... Am I, am, I, am I gonna... Do I need to fight more Sphinxes? I don't want that. <laughs> well, thanks for joining, David. <laughs> I hate that they gave uh, Blood Axe that kind of voice. It's, it's, it's a crime. That is a crime. Sphinx, no more Sphinxes! I'm tired of Sphinxes! I don't want them. They can go and suck a fucking uh, sea star or something like that. Well, uh, oh yeah, that, that's my kryptonite at this point. Fuck. <coughs> because their names are... Well, that could be King. That could be King. I mean, it's like people always uh, mistakes me, my name with uh, another Michael. 
There might be a reason for that, but uh, hey, what do I know? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have, I have horrible flashbacks to that. I, I. Wow, they don't like Aussie, don't they? I mean, sure, okay, but come on, don't be like that. Damn it, Blackbeard, you almost got it! Man, dude, I hate this guy. I hate it fucking... Uh... Aussie, can't you be a girl? Then I can heal you double. Can't we just cover him up and say he's a girl so I can double heal him? Uh, Medusa's top tier. Well, I can agree with that. I like Medea. I mean, Med Medusa. But I do like Medea as well. And minus the stab, stab. I'm a bit afraid of that. <laughs> the stabby stab with a weird knife thing is very scary. Mm. You know, my friend. <laughs> You're not friends with both. <laughs> yeah, that is a real life story, right? Ooh, what did this do? Yay, Amp again! Whee! Exactly what I want. More MP, more power. Oh, this is just a battle one. Oh man, I don't like this. I love bad thing, bitches. Oh, so many golems, man. I don't like this. <laughs> Shit, man, I hate this. I hate these golems. Right. Why do you punch Blackbeard? Don't be like that. You don't need that. Uh, I'm not mad. You can end it. Yeah, I mean, I say that. Do you see how fucking ripped they both are in that regard? Also, he's like, fuck yeah, he's a, he's a shape, he's a, he's a muscle with, with a personality. Bun butts. <laughs> what? Leave it enough. Well, I can see that as a thing. Ouch. Ah. Wow, they, they punch a lot. Please stop doing that. I'm afraid you might kill them. Oh, man. Fuck me if they die before I even enter the first boss. Or the, the Sphinx. I, I assume I'm gonna fight a fucking Sphinx. Nay, hey, don't punch her again. Uh, punch Ossi. Okay. Woo! Woo! Haha! <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this. Uh, do you know Medea's first skill? No, I don't. I don't. And lab compilation Dark Light. Hmm, I need to check on that. I think I've seen something like that. Uh, and I assume the first skill stuns because you know. Whoa! Whoa! Way! 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 That's that's a big one. That's a big 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 swings. Yeah, I was right. It was a stun. You death with his busted card. Well, that is true. He's the only one. But that, oh, what is that for a weird that fucking swings? It freaks me out! And, and what? Medea, Medusa? Who? I'm just gonna call them both meds. They are good meds. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, that is a normal kind of idea you get, you know? Double pyramids. Here goes her. <laughs> Poseidon, you know, Poseidon abs. I mean, then again, the Grace Gods were fucking weird, those. Whoa, the damage! Damn! Damn! Man! Well, I don't like his swing. Well, let's swing! 
This face looks weird, but the... Was that the... Uh, <laughs> that must have been Edison's uh, wife there, right? Edison's wife. Part lion, part woman. My god. The Berserk will actually have more horror. That's because I like miss. <laughs> oh yes. Mm, those fires make me... Hi. Okay, that was right. Well, we're accepted the Sphinx as Empire. How should we proceed? Erg! Ah, oh, you fell through a hole? Yes, now. Is that she fell into. Whoa! What is. What is a whoa? Is this. Yes, it is. It's a pit monster from Star Wars! It's a pitfall trap! Well. There we fall down. Ouch. My butt. Is everyone here? I heard five fuds. Roll call! Lana present. A graceful landing, if I had to say so myself. Betty present. Karim Karim of Bajla Kartim. Yes. Swan Sang Sun Sang is right here. Parinaparaptiv Natayam. Karyam Karamano Vayala Padokatayat. I have no idea how to pronounce that. We feel pretty far, but I don't think we'll be be that much oxygen done here. Excellent! Looks like everyone was able to escape! Glad no one was hurt. I'll turn on the lights then. You must feel a bit dizzy, but that's part of the charm. There's a sixth person! Is that Sherlock Holmes? Or something like that? Because the only thing I can imagine with magnified glasses and the pipe is Sherlock Holmes. But why the fuck would he be in Egypt? That can't be that can't be Sherlock Holmes, right? That would be just weird. He looks fancy as fuck though. What? I'm it is him! What? 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 And well that is true! Why would Camel be a genius? But what? Still though, what? I mean Camelot in the in the end, I mean Camelot Knights, the Crusade, whatnot, yada yada, but What? As a representative of those who shall delight on a problem, I'm here to guide you all to the truth. I hold you I hold all the pieces of the puzzle. Now I need a fuck. My inner British person is exploding of delight. Yes, like the bad, the bad, the bad breath. But seriously, Sherlock Holmes, I could never guess that. That is like literally impossible to even get a chance to guess on. Oh look, it's a big, big gaping vagina in the ground. Exactly what I like. This is, well, okay, I mean, I... And there they are again, I mean, Sherlock Holmes is, uh, I mean, when they talk about certain characters, you know, how if they are really historical and all that, and they're throwing Sherlock Holmes of all characters, that is definitely a book character. It's <laughs> or Med's butthole, because I remember in America she summoned quite a lot of monster from her butthole, her magical butthole, the hidden research. <laughs> okay, now we gotta see. I want a good lance, because I don't have many of them. I got nothing to say. I don't think I have either, Leo. Raye Sakura. I'm gonna go with Sakura, because I really do... Uh, wait, who else I said to go with? Ah, I'm gonna go with Sakura's little... Santa altar. Salter. Ain't that salty? Or is it just me? Okay, I'm gonna go with another Lancer, my... There she is! Something like that. He probably, he probably will go well. He probably will work fine. King's Midi- Oh, that! Ooh, I- I, I should have done that, I'm terrible sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry, I, I forgot that. I, I knew it was something, but... Sorry. 
You must be Miss Lano, and she must be Miss Carolite. She is the servant Swan Sung. Uh, he's the servant Tabara Tora. And that is, well, well, what a surprise. A knight of the round table is also among us. Wonderful to meet you, Sir Betty. As we share homeland, it's hard not to feel a certain familiarity with you already. Yeah, you're British, pretty much. What? How do you know my name already? How did you name someone's true name? Elementary. Oh, there it is. Why elementary, my dear friends? You know, if they're adding uh, Holmes, I do hope to add Moriarty and Watson as well. I would actually love that. I mean, Holmes is nothing without Watson. I mean, I actually read the, the Holmes books way, way, way back, and I thought it was... Uh, I really liked them. But one thing is sure, Holmes is actually uh, not a very... Very, very good social skill person, so to speak. There is it, that famous line of his. This man is the real homies of Holmes. You and I have already made contact. Before we went face to face, we met through information. Through information? Did he hack us? In London, you managed to safely acquire the information and left at the Mates Association, right? It was a paperwork, but it must have been worth a thousand pounds to you at the time. I gather all the necessary information and arrange it so it'd be easy to read. At the point, you must accept me as a collaborator in the shadow. What? He was already there? Was it Anderson? Yeah, he was talking about something like that. Yes, he said someone had organized information before he looked it up. Dude, that shadow f thing there, that was... Why would they bother... What? Aw, oh, that would be... I, will, I hope they do that. So that was your doing, Mr. Holmes? Yes, I had made it too easy to understand. My kid would have noticed. I arranged that it would only make sense when a wise person with true purpose searched for it. You needed to know it in order to solve this murder case and not just be passive bystander. Murder case? Case closed! Code on! Do it! Yes, it's a murder case, and one can on a scale I never experienced before. The complete murder of the primates by means of the incineration of humanity. That is one long murder title. Yes, indeed, a mythological murder case. Obviously, I would appear. Um, no, no, Lady Mashu, I hate to interrupt, but... Who is he? Holmes. I don't remember Knight by the name. Knight Holmes. That would be quite fun. <laughs> How sad. Are you... That is Tristan. Red flag warning. That is Tristan in disguise. He's probably playing Despacito in the background. It's true that I never attained knighthood. The person recorded my efforts, so however, did. Watson did get the knighthood. That I remember, actually. So the person who recorded your achievement was a knight? Mm, my lady? Yes, Sir Betty. Miss Holmes is the most famous detective in the world. His class is probably Caster, right? He's one of the two forefathers of all detectives. If only the monitor was alive, the doctor would have been overjoyed. And I'm especially moved as well. Sherlock Holmes was real. He was not. <laughs> in other words, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's now is a biograph of, by Dr. Watson. Ah, what's a side job? If it makes an innocent girl so openly happy, then our work was well worth it. But Miss Carolite, my true identity, my essence, is slightly different from what you may think. And sad. See, 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 that is definitely, I can, I can read through the lines, but that is not the purpose of our gathering here today. I cannot yet accept your case, Miss Lano. You cannot? Miss Holmes, you appeared in person without even a disguise, so I assumed... Oh, <laughs> what a good fan. You're very aware of my personality. I would very much like to cooperate too, but there's a case I must solve first. Sir Babash asked me to do so. Babash? My steam man? He only had a little bit of reason left in him. Just a speck, but it was like a glittering star in his exchange for that. Although that case is closed, I cannot make ties with Shaldea. But that is not a vital problem. I'll leave the battle to you, heroes. I am a detective. I have no interest in justice or honor. I ask solve mysteries. That is my duty. It is actually like the home I imagine. He just beat us to the punch. What sort of mysteries? Mysteries do you mean? We can talk about that next. After all, it seems our journey will be a long one. You help learn but won't join us. Is that right? Yeah, I came to this institution in search for knowledge. The old man of the mountain must talk about needing to know everything, right? 
In that case, you should have heard the first central area of this institution. I too have business there. It is far from here, but about half a mile underground. The path twists and falls over itself. Much like that sounds scary. I'll show you the way there, and you'll eliminate the traps with your strength. It's quite efficient collaboration. Now let's hurry. Infinite knowledge awaits us. But can't you use your great mastermind to find out the traps and avoid them? And does Marsha secret promote the really Ah, oh, that is true, and I'm not bullying her. She's she's my tank. She's mo she's supposed to take the spank. Master is here to take spank. We seem to have ended up teaming up with Mr. Holmes. Are you sure about this, Lano? Let's trust the detective. I don't. I see. I suppose I've never really been good with people like him. He reminds me of Merlin. Master, magical energy response. Something's coming. Well, that's me. <laughs> and same as in London. It's an out oh, we're gonna fight golems again? Isn't it the defensive mechanisms are still active? I was right to wait for your arrival. My existence is currently in flux. There's no way I can fight. I'm counting on your suck. 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 You're sucking. Goddamn. But I actually did read lots of uh, Conan uh, O'Brien. Conan Doyle's. The, the Shakes. The Sherlock Holmes books, actually. It was, they were actually pretty good. But the funny, funny, funny thing is that Sherlock Holmes has a, an older brother. And he is actually even smarter than Holmes. When it comes to puzzle things together, that guy was even a bigger genius than Holmes. The thing is that he hates work. So he was just lazy. Like, no, I don't want to bother with that. While Sherlock Holmes had the drift to do things. Yes, I do read. I do read. I like to read. I, I, that, I, I, I was a stereotypical book nerd when I was a kid. I was always reading books. Just so you know. <laughs> and yeah, Minecraft, I think it was called, right? Or something like that. I don't remember his name. I just remember uh, the part particle scene of when the, the, the two brothers were talking and... Um, he shown to be way better to actually puzzle things together and all that. Which was really interesting. You didn't expect that in a... In something like uh, Holmes and all of that. Let me, me. Yeah, kick ass. And it's the same with Moriarty. I mean, in the books, they really never really were really sure if he actually did die and all of that. There's still lots of mystery about that. <laughs> the mystery gang is needed to get to solve these cases. Ah, oh, Mary attack! It's so cute. I like it. Holy crap! That crit. <laughs> Blackbeard is wrecking these books. I assume Blackbeard doesn't really. He he must really hate reading books and all of that. When he's wrecking it so hard. Ouch, why do you need to do that? That's unnecessary, stupid. <laughs> but I did read lots of these old books. I remember, I read like the Sherlock Holmes books, I read the, uh, read the Three Musketeers. Uh, I did read Robin Hood. Mm, so, I, so I think it's pretty interesting, I like that. I like those old books. Right, what? Ah, welcome back, Vodka, and Bobby read those... Well, he's a man of taste and culture, I guess. <laughs> Nay, only 2% from here! Oh, God damn it! From full bar? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I do remember it. Oh, that's a big one. That's a biggie. In, well, I do remember that uh, when we talked about Blackbird that he wants to write uh, mangas and all that. Which I think is pretty fun, actually. He's gonna be an author one day. Yeah. 
So, there we go. Now we can nuke the shit out of this guy. I did use it, right? <gasps> I didn't click- I, I was sure I clicked on this! Didn't I click on that? I was sure I did click on that one. I'm pretty sure I did. Or didn't I? Oh, I did- I did click it. Oh, uh, okay. I did click it. I did click it. Yes, I, I forgot it. It recharged. Oh. Well. Ha <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> what? No, no, they don't mean like that. I'm not sure what you talk about. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute, holy crap. But I did, I mean, I, I did click it on it once at least. But you know, I just overpowered it anyways with my massive, massive personality which I have here. And that, those, I defeated it. My god. I, I hate these, 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 these robots, man. But that was nothing. I mean, if it, if it like I'm back in London again. Uh, what's the Atlas Institute, you ask? An excellent question, Miss Lano. It is an institute of alchemists built on the Atlas Mountains of Egypt. It is also known as the Titan's Pit. A uh, funny thing is that pit in Swedish is uh, pretty much uh, slang for dick. So it's like Titan's dick. That's why we laugh when we say Brad Pitt, because it's like, Brad Dick. <laughs> I think it's funny still. It's one of the three branches of the Mage Association, dealing with accumulation and measurement. Their alchemy is not all like alchemy as you may know it. It kind of become mainstream in the Middle Ages. The other progen progenitors of Magecraft focus on investigating the principle of the world. While there are certainly mages, I understand that their magical circles are rather paltry. Consequently, they do not rely on magical energy to learn the mystery of the world, instead using a great number of tools. In a way, these tools evolved similarly to scientific progress. They treated pseudo-spiritrons, souls as energy that could be observed and manipulated. This led to homunculi, life form that possessed magical circuits. We have no need to become the strongest, we seem to have to create the strongest tool. And so they created Takujan. That was their motto. True to their words, they created many weapons. In the words of Magecraft, they called the Seven Taboos. The Atlas Institute created seven weapons capable of destroying the world. Why would you need that? Seriously, it's like nukes. Why Why do you need that? Do, do you need really need to have show your e pen so hard that it's like, yeah, look at my nukes. Realizing that they had reached their limit, they sealed them away. There are still many theories about why they decided to build such weapon in the first place. Yeah, that's a good question. The director of the Atlas Institute was given the, the title Atlassia. As of a wall played on the way here, it had Sepia Eltnam Atla Atlasia. Sepia Eltnam? What? He was largely the like director. There seemed to have been a successor des designated, but the name wasn't recorded. The director of this institute would always go mad, and as a result, they created forbidden weapons that would destroy the world. Well, how about that? It's also possible they would try to prevent the destruction of the world, fail in progress, and then go mad as a result. Regardless, this place is a storehouse of mystic codes, unparalleled anywhere else on Earth. Although in reality, it's more like a disposal site. It's like a more nuclear silo. The alchemists of this institute would constantly invent things. These were treated as failed creation and mount a terrible weapon accumulated. Why would they do that? Stop doing that! We're headed to the center of that. What do you think? Do we understand my summary of the Atlas Institute? Why do you record the Titan's dick? Hmm, do you know that Titan who held the world in Greek mythology? His name... Yeah, I do know. I do know he's... I do know he's named Atlas. That is why we have the world Atlas and all of that. I know. The name may have been influenced by his history. He carried the world on his shoulder. If I've also heard that it was called the Atlas Institute because it's in Atlas Mountain. A simple reason for naming it so. The origin alchemy at the Atlas Institute is tied with the pro progenitor of Magecraft in Egypt mythology, the goddess Isis. 
That connection may be why the Institute appear in the territory of Egypt in this singularity. They fled underground to study magecraft. No wonder I never heard of this group of mages. However, I don't see any students. Did Atlas Institute fall to ruin prior to this time? No, as far as I've been able to deduce, the Atlas Institute was active from BC era up to 2018 AD. Ah, AD! Ah, it stands for After Dick. Because at year zero, they got the dick. That is why it's, it's, it's AD. If there aren't any people here, then... No, I shouldn't speak based on assumptions. We'll know for certain when we reach the center. An underground academy filled with mysteries. A research facility created with unknown techniques. Is it the true identity and ideal shelter, or merely an enormous tomb? Let us hold hope in our hearts and press forward to see the truth. Well, how about that? And, and welcome to PC Meteor. Chris some of have weapons that can destroy... Sound like... Well, they do sound like that. I recognize that in a certain mongrel guy. Let's dive, di dive deeper into the hole. And, okay, we're gonna see King. Where's King? Ah. Do I have any other lances? I need to level up more lances, man. I'm very bad at that for some reason. Who else do I have? Oh, wait. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use Old Man Hector. I like Hector. Hector is nice. Within about seven weapons, do you know guys about Sarbom? That was hard because it was I do know that the Sar Bomb is the biggest bomb that was have ever been created. That much I do know or remember reading about. Well it, it, I, I just know it's pretty fucked and uh, and I mean, I mean, the, I just know that the fact about that fucking bomb is just it, fucking crazy. Still, the layout of this place is rather complicated. It's more of a maze than academic institute. The path splits in two as we descend, but if you look behind you, it's actually free. They build like an optical illusion. It's as, if, uh, as though... Indeed, it's built to confuse those trying to leave. Entering is simple, but exiting is forbidden. It's like that to protect against theft. That would be the opposite, right? So why did they build it this way? Because they are more fearful people leaving than entering. The Athlete Institute was a group of genius. They immersed themselves in various research in their own independent workshops. There were no taboos here. But one would not be rebuked for creating any weapon, no matter how inhumane. However, there was no one condition. What was created here could never be brought outside. That was the great principle of the Atlas Institute. For over 2,000 years, they stubbornly kept this rule. An exception would be the seven contracts created when the Institute was established. The Atlas Institute promised to cooperate with only those holding these special contact contracts. I'm sure this agreement caused headaches for a generation of directors. Their contracts are arbitrarily made there by their ancestors there, after all. They had recovered four of the contracts by 2000 AD, but the whereabouts of the other three remain unknown. Snake! Snake! I'm oh, sorry to stop stop so abruptly, but there are more defense mechanisms. I expect you can handle them. Can't he just use, like, fine traps? Uh, so we humans... Yeah, we do have that. I mean, and I'm, I'm not to mention that we have biological weapons. We have all these weird fucking... Bombs and shit. We we are we are, we are pretty bad at that. And hey, Yabnat, how is it? And I I always been confused my, about you know in English when you have this 20th century, actually means the 1900. Why why would it would it that make more actual sense if you said 19th century? And actually meant the 1900 rather than 1800. That doesn't make sense to me. Why is that? <laughs> and my god, so much busted cards, yes. And I'm happy to hear that uh, it's it's good nut. It's good to be a nut. And that that is true, King. We should actually Oh, I survived. We should have... We should just all j 
do if we're gonna make war, let all let it all be with uh, some uh, gotcha hell. The, the one that rolls the biggest and best cards wins. That's that's pretty much it. It makes sense. First chance was one to. Well, doesn't that when doesn't when you say first century count as two hundred or something like that? I mean, when you say it's 20th century, because we are in 21st century, so that doesn't make sense to me. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm, I'm confused now. I'm almost confused. <laughs> and yes, I'm using Hector. I kind of like Hector, actually. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I'm just getting confused by that. Because I'm thinking, uh, when you're saying the 20th century, that... You meaning the 1900s? Because I'm thinking more on the, the 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 beginning of the numbers, really. And now I don't suck in math. I do, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, Hector is a good boy. I like him. I'm gonna try to uh, work, better him. I, I want a Lancer, so I might actually use him. And I want to team him up with Blackbeard, Blackbeard and his master. I think that would be nice, though. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I was happy to get his uh, uh, chocolate and all of that. That guy doesn't die. I want to see. I'm not, I'm not sure about... Uh, I want that king. And uh, Hector's MP... Yeah, I, f I have that. Isn't that he just throw his spear like a fucking rocket? Oh yeah, I forget to do this action. I'm terrible. Sorry, I always forget that. And... And let's charm this fucker. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do like this. Because why not? Time with Lyric Kick and Boss? Well, I can see that being a thing. Ryo! I mean, that is pretty cool. He's literally throwing it like a fucking missile. Ah, she dealing more damage to Ah, she do that. I didn't know that, actually. That's pretty neat, though. Sucks though for being the guy, the <laughs> getting the nut crush. Ah, I was only seeing a target. Cool. I mean, it looks cool. I, I must say that. I really like how it's done. So very action y. I like that. Lots of action, lots of movement. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that either, Vodka. If they're gonna be crushed, why not let her crush them? What? Potato... Hector Spears count as two MPs? What? Really? That sounds awesome! Am I singing the note? <laughs> Job nut, the nut crush. That, does that mean that you crush others' nuts or your own? I'm just wondering. Because they, it can be quite a difference in that. It can oh, it can that? Oh man! Then I want a saber, Hector. Dude, I will love that. His spear was no Hector just extended to hilt. It is cool, man. Then I want. Why don't they? Why don't they make a saber, Hector? Then I know maybe it's not popular as a guy there, but fuck that, man. Mizanano, having watched you two of your battle, two of your battles, I may comment on your leadership. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. Yes, no, <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess. Anyway, Miss Lano, to be honest, I'm quite surprised. Your fighting abilities are unbelievable, but you're still only secondary to something else. My charming personality? The root of your strength lies in the style of your contracts. I'm sure there's no pre pre precedent in the history of Master with connection to so many servants. I'm very busy, I got drilled hard by... Fergus last night. 
That's why I'm in a wheelchair today. An even more shocking aspect is the length of the time that this has continued. Normally, servants are only summoned temporarily and only for particular battles. Perpetually contract like your own are unthinkable, yet it doesn't seem like you have any particular secrets, Miss Lado. In other words... In other words what? Kikulp? By the way, Miss Carolite, it would be appear you still don't have full control of your noble fantas. Why is that? Is something beyond your means? Ah, uh, memes. I read it uh, beyond your memes. <laughs> you change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Holmes. <laughs> yes, I don't know the true name of the heroic spirit who transferred his power to me. That's not it. The true name isn't a big issue. You simply erred on which foot to set forth on. But uh, be at ease. You will have the solution soon. Give the information. There's nothing we can un I can't uncover. Oh, that was rude of me. That's not like a bragging. There's something that even I don't know. Right now, we're fighting with another... Mystery. A true identity of the King of Mages. The culprit behind the incineration of humanity. I have almost no information about him. Every corner of time has his tracks, but none of these seem to tie to King Solomon. If someone had seen King of Mages firsthand, I could have asked if there was any resemblance to Solomon. But of course there wouldn't be such a convenient witness. I have no choice but to continue interfering from information. We did see him! Yeah, we did see him. You were such a vital witness? Then please, tell me everything. What did he look like? His voice, his magic lineage, and most importantly, his underwear. What are your impressions, having directly met him? Oh, well, uh, he looks like a major problem child. Any discomfort? Any out of place? A sense of discomfort would be the most important... Well, he had this feeling that I was just his toilet, pretty much. He was taking pee on me. Try to remember, no matter how trivial it seems, was there anything strange about the King of Mages? I remember what he looks like, but... Oh, well, now that I think about it... But, well, is this something? One thing about... Something seemed to be missing, I guess? Something missing? Missing, you say? For a human who had never seen the King of Mages before to say such a thing. He must have made an oversight, trivial though, though it may be. An oversight that, though unintentional, was enough to arouse suspicion. Miss Mash Carlighter, I'm sorry, but you could you draw a sketch as we walk? I like a picture of the King of Major you saw. Normally, you'd be cursed for even making an attempt. But in an atlas, they likely have a perfect measure against outside curses. No harm would come would come to you. I understand. I'm not an artist, but I tried to draw what I saw. And may I also say something, Mr. Holmes? I didn't sense any sort of discomfort like my master did, but... But the King of Major said how he acted. It wasn't consistent. It was that it seemed out of place to me. It was sometimes violent, sometimes calm. Even totally indifferent toward us at times. The changes all seemed abrupt to me. Tell me more detail. What kind of conversation did you have with him? I don't remember. It was just weird. He was angry as fuck, that guy. I gotta see. See, thank you, Miss Car Mash Carolite. That was very useful information. Enough to inch a little closer to the true identity of the King of Mages. You're welcome. I'm glad to help. Didn't we learn his name is Solomon? We know who he is. Guess from your conversation, the King of Mages is akin to a mirror. A mirror? Correct. A mirror reflects those standing before it. A mirror that shows the true nature of the person speaking to it. If someone vulgar speaks, he answers just rudely. But someone speaks why speak, he answers with equal earnestness. He responds to the cruel with the cruelty and the calm with benevolence. What? It's not that he lacks his own sense of self or that he has multiple personality disorder. He's just not confined to one single enlightenment. No, the exact opposite in fact. That is his nature. I see Anderson was mean. Anderson was fucking just stepping up the game. Anderson was badass, I'm just saying. But he said he isn't interested in us. He said that life has no value. I don't think anybody was was who was present thought that way. That's exactly it. That is part of fine frightening Miss Carolite. 
No interest in humans, that is the truth for the king of mages. As proof, he also already destroyed humanity. He's unlike the Lion King who seeks to destroy this era. He has already won, which is precisely why he has shown his true form. Of course, he would have no interest in us, if because he has already moved on to his next project. For example, suppose there is a desk here with a project labeled Incineration of Humanity, 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 sitting on top of it. He's finished that project long ago. Now he has a different desk ready to start anew. Normally that would be the end. Humanity wouldn't even have the option of fighting him. Fighting option. The fuck me. However, a miracle occurred. It goes without saying, but that miracle was Chaldea. Although it's simple, minuscule space remaining on the now uninhabited disk. But the King of Mage incinerating man is already finished project. You're saying that's why he has no interest in us. What? He has to be precise because he's occupied with his next task. What frightens me is the true nature of the ne next task. Listen well. You can say that this case was the perfect crime. Nobody could prevent the plot from occurring, but we're a complete defeat and unable to even make a move. A detective works after an incident occurs, after there are already victims. Even if I deduce the truth behind these incidents, I don't have the power to undo what has taken place. But you do, Miss Helano. You have that power. I got the power! The King of Major doesn't believe so, which is your one and only chance to overcome that demon's crime. Well, holy crap! That, that took quite a while. But you know, since uh, he asked for a drawing on... Uh, on uh, Solomon, I'm gonna draw him as I remember him. This is a very refined uh, image of Solomon. Uh, I, I don't want to brag, but I'm very good at drawings. So, this was... Uh, this is Solomon, of course. So, I did a quick, uh, I did made a, a, a quick uh, little a drawing of Solomon. This is Solomon as I remember him from the the London Singularity. I think it was pretty, pretty, I think it was pretty close. The name of Hector Spear Durandale may be the familiar. Durandale, the sword of Roland, it's one of fates here. Really? That is, that is, that is, that sounds really cool vodka. And well, Blanca for Street, no! This is Solomon <laughs> with a penis on his head. Because he is a dickhead. <laughs> I'm saying. Blank was now I want to play Street Fighter. I mean, I do have Shan Li. Shan Li is named after Shan Li. Obvious. Obvious thing is obvious. Uh ooh, ow, ooh, Lee Shaven. Yeah, yip sir, suck my leg. <laughs> Draw Tristan Lan on. Okay, okay, okay. Since okay, I'm gonna draw Tristan as well. I'm gonna add Tristan here. Something like this. Uh, oh. Something like that. He looks like this. So, now we know. Wait, my last is still in a shame my last to cook lane like 20 minutes. What? You did that? You should play Melty Blood. I wish I could do that, Nana, but I can't afford it, sadly. If I could, I would definitely do that. Because I it sounds like a very cool game. And yes, Despacito. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> Rejoice, everyone. Yoro <laughs> Kobe Shonen. We're nearly at the center. Many answers wait up. Wait, are you actually Kurei with uh, your hair licked back and wearing a pipe and speak British? Do you guess what? The old man of the mountain sent you. And I did use your summons a while ago. Good time. But then you, everyone is complaining that they're dying and then pulling. I don't. The first relative of this singularity to gain knowledge about the Lion King objectives and his sacred lands. The second relates to all seven singularities. In other words, a part of the mystery behind the, behind the incineration of humanity. I'm prepared to answer both of those. However, before that... Ah, oh, we're gonna eliminate the right? No, I have a warning. 
We, well, more like a declaration. The greatest reason why I appeared before you is that the peering eyes of Shaldea cannot reach you here. Let me tell you in advance, I try, I do not trust. What? Roman? What? Don't trust Dr. What? Why would you trust him? I mean, what? Don't tell me he's evil. If Roman is evil and have been doing some shade like that, I will be sad. And, and the, well, isn't it British? Isn't English British? Uh, you must say, Roger. Well, <laughs> well, excuse me, vodka. And I'm gonna try to use potato next time. I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a potato. How I imagine potato. So, I drew potato. I thought it was kind of a good uh, punch off of this. Yeah, I gotta say that punch. Uh, Draconic, you hold the holes. I kick him. I'm begging you, if you use my. But I'm like, I want to use everyone. And now I'm happy you think that potato. You're a beautiful soul. Don't all that. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that later on. That's that that will be that will be special. That for damn sure. Ah, oh, fucking damn. Yeah, I'm gonna do that after the stream, of course. I won't do it now. I already drawn enough right now. Ah, uh, you 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 you're gonna be like that, aren't you? Uh, them two single enemies. It's one time, one trick pony. Mm. But yeah, so don't worry, I won't throw more. So what done to I knew, I expected that much. I expected that much. Don't worry. <laughs> oh man, there's some. But still now, now I'm so wor worried about why why Roman. Everyone seems to diss Roman super hard lately. It makes me sad. It makes me a sad panda. Man, what we doing? <laughs> oh, nay, nay, don't use that as a fucking uh, profile picture. That would be scary. That will be weird. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> He's a vegan. <gasps> I should have known. There was something weird behind that smile he gave me yesterday. I should have known. <laughs> ah, come on. I, I don't... Uh... <laughs> Roma is Trisa... No! That can't be. Nate, Roma can't be... I mean, sure, both are redheads, but that's pretty much it. Ah, shit, he didn't die. Whee! That's lots of damage. Oh my god. Roman Roman is not a cruel one. Eating my... Well, potato chips are delicious, so no wonder. I'm just saying. Red hair was actually the catalyst to summer. <gasps> Wait, does that mean I can summon him? Because I'm a, I'm a red. I don't, I'm not so redheaded anymore. But uh, my beard is red. I can summon, I can summon a little Tristan hanging out from here, hanging down from my shin. Second skill? No. Should I know what to do? <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot about that. I, I knew it all the time, don't worry. I, I knew what happened. I, I know what's going on. <laughs> I got face under control. <laughs> Everyone is cheating on him and becomes sad. Well, I mean... Of course, I know my servants, but I don't know what they're doing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just me, you know? Look at all the pokes you do. Ooh, 
that damage, man. That's your see. And it's all according to plans, of course, of course. I got things on the control. I thought I was gonna fight some big ass juicy monster here. But what about Roman? I mean, everyone been shitting on him from the very. Uh, and he was sold not getting. Yes, I'm sold for not getting Scander. God damn it. But everyone is shitting on me. Uh, me not Meteor, I'm sorry. Uh, Romani. And now he's like, everyone like, yeah, he is actually evil. It's because he get bullied. <laughs> I use my cool girl, at least we can survive when Well I can do that. Could do that. What This is the Hollow Atlas Institute. It kinda of reminds me of Shaldea. But there's a Sky Master. This place is the side of a city. I can't believe they're able to build such a vast structure here. This, sh this sure looks like an acad academic blah, blah, blah. They have everything necessary for humans to live their lives. This would help their students keep in sound mind, even if the sky was artificial. The obelisk in the center of this Atlas Institute is the greatest recording medium, a pseudo spiritual calculation engine dubbed Tree Hermes. That sounds familiar. Trimagistus in Chaldea was based on it. That's the original? Indeed, the one who sent to Chaldea is merely a copy. It is a photonic crystal, a philosopher's stone, an out-of-place artifact that cannot be created through science in the present world. Now then, we already acquired access right. Normally, we would just ask the staff, but... As you can see, this place is completely unhindered. Un I feel a little sorry, but we just have to use it without their permission. Yes, but I wonder why the staff aren't present. It may be buried in sand, but all the equipment seems to be operating like normal. The answer is obvious. This is Atlas in 2018. In other words, the one from your time. Uh, as of our time, now they mentioned Da Vinci said something like, "What? Something about how in Egypt it turned to this a foreign object from yet another era." That is true. It, mu it must have been. Yeah, it's what? I believe so. The mage may have been incinerated, but Atlas seems to itself didn't event. Now let's go to the main issue. Trihermes contain recording of all events. Since we are an alchemist of Atlas, we wouldn't understand everything it contains, but... The simple truth, we should be able to understand the results, although it would be looking at the mathematical equation or solution. Peeping is in a good hobby, you know! Haha, <laughs> that's not what I'm doing. I'm only interested in the honest truth. I will never do anything so shady. The only thing that excites me is the truth itself, not personal lives. Now, try him as soaring bird of the underworld. Answer my question. Tell us of the certain incident erased from all records and description. The Holy Grail War that occurred in Japan in 2004. The Holy... Don't tell me you mean Singularity X? Okay. Well, well, the direct detalk talk of the Holy Grail were held in Singularity X, but... Are you saying that's the truth behind the incineration of humanity? The true origin? No, it's not the origin. But it's an important factor. What? The Holy Grail War. That is, is a grand ritual where heroic spirits are summoned to fight, in which a lost surviving mage and servant standing obtain the Holy Grail. You all know that much. Right, Miss Lano. Very well, the ritual did indeed take place. In 2004, located in the certain city of yeah, Japan. Okay, yeah, I know about that. It's for you and all of that. What? What? I checked the records of this war. However, however, I couldn't figure out what happened during its course or how it concluded. The only traceable data was from when the Holy Grail was started. The identities of the seven mages who sought the Holy. Don't tell me Roma was one of those, because that would be pretty funky. Among those seven who participated, one of them was related to someone you know, related. Or besides the daughter of that person. Huh? Daughter? The previous director? Oh, well, that makes sense. That's right. The father of Olga Marie Atmosphere. The later. And, and Olga is dead as well. As Lord of the Clock Tower, he's secretly headed to the regional seat of Japan and participated in that blood rich. What? His name was. Hmm? Dude, are you really gonna keep me on the, on the line like that? I feel like that is something big revelation right there. It's a little sad it doesn't make sound well in operation. However, I'm glad to see it back up to my hypothesis. 
This resolved one of the questions. The winner of the whole grave wasn't yet, was Marysbury and Miss. He won that thing! Marysbury. That is such an odd name. Hermes recorded that he killed six old mages and obtained omnipotent wish. He did that? He obtained the wait a moment, and that's before the incineration of humanity. humanity. I can't say humanity anymore. Before the ratio was carried out. Correct. The records indicate Marysbury brought his assistant along the Holy Grail War, and that having been given special exemption the following year, the assistant was then invited to join the staff of Chaldea. He became top of the. What? Roman was his assistant back then? Do you mean Romani? Doctor, he know for the former director before coming to Chaldea? Yes, and it gets strange. The personal history of the man named Roman Archman is son. What? I couldn't find anything about him in the records from before the Holy Grey War. I might figure out if, if keep using Herms, but... So he doesn't have any information. Don't tell me like Roman is a, 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 some sort of Shiro that he survived and like pop up from nowhere. We don't have time to sell the data about a single person, although the billions of personal data files updated jelly. But that's the reason why I don't trust Dr. Roman. There's no mistake that he's human and not a mage, but he's hiding something. Something extraordinary close to tr <gasps> What? Now all shitness! Can I ask something? Oh man, I'm getting my. I'm getting. I should just butt in because I'm tired of being quiet. <laughs> well, but me as much you want, but. What? This Mar Marysbury guy obtained a holy grade, right? What did he wish for? Who knows? Unfortunately, Hermes doesn't record personal wishes. The only thing recorded is our results. According to Hermes, Marysbury went to become a great mage. To the clock tower, Chaldea and the atmosphere family Ferris were mostly disregarded. However, that assessment was overturned after repeated success. The establishment of the heroic spirit summoning system. Experiment that made it possible not to just observe the future, but also use ray shift to intervene in the other times period. Wait, wait, wait. A system that was from the war? Don't tell me Roman well, is some sort of servant. Is he? Because that would be, I mean, what? That would. No, that can't. Ne, what? No. That would. Fuck me, my mind, I can't take this. Chalet was nothing more than observation in 2004, but then gained vast amount of equipment like other research facility. It's safe to assume that Marisbury wished for fortune. He had no reason to wish for the incineration of humanity. Reading the documents, he came off as a man of good sense. His desire was ordinary, his envy was ordinary, and his love of happiness was ordinary. That's the type of man he was. In that case, he was either used by a third party, or he stepped into a minefield of destruction without noticing it himself. A third party like Professor Lev. Lev Lehner was appointed shortly at the turn of the century. That coincided with the time when the technology to construct the observation lens Shiba was provided to Shalda. Shaldea. Lil Lane was an ass, was working under the King of Ages, I have no doubt about that. To be honest, this caused me the biggest headache. Shaldea caught the eye of Lev and he infiltrated it. In that case, there must have been some issue that Shaldea before the Holy Grail War of 2004. That war was just a way for Marysburg to obtain red capital. There is a possibility that it was even related uh, to the incineration of humanity. What in the in what that in mind? I don't want to say this, but I would be, mean this about Roman. Act <laughs> I can't English anymore. We don't know what he was doing, but he had no connection to the incident. A simple nuisance, a mystery. So it doesn't really matter at all. That's the conclusion I can draw. We don't know what he's doing, but. It what? What's that supposed to mean? That's ridiculous! Sounds like Roma! <laughs> yes, that's the doctor in a nutshell. Personally, I still see him as an important person of interest. 
You shouldn't tell him anything that you heard here. We can't trust him until his secrets are clear. At the very least, Romani Arkman knows the conclusion of the Holy Grail War and never told you. Whoa, what? Ah, man, this is getting me on my skins. Now, that wraps up the facts that I wanted to know. Next is your turn. But before that, as I searched through the records of Shaldi, I found an answer for you, Miss, Miss Carolite. I'm sorry if it seemed like just being attacked on, but do you mind if we speak about it? An answer for me? Or do you mean what we talked about on the way here? About the true name of the heroic spirit who transferred the power to me? Exactly. I came to a conclusion already, but I know a clear proof. So I spoke, so I spoke amb ambiguously. Is it the Green Knight? That would be cool. Romani is a dark ro redhead. Well, that is true, Meteor. I mean, we redhead doesn't have souls. Uh, took place three years before the episode. <sighs> SpongeBob as a servant? Rule or nay. But now I can tell it to you as fact. Are you prepared to hear it, Ma Miss Carolite? Wait a minute. There's something for Lady Match to discover herself. We shouldn't be the ones. No, I must speak my mind. I'm sure everyone has already realized it anyway. Only fools would continue to avert their eyes from the truth. Are you saying that Miss Carolite is a fool? I say no. No, Sir Betty. And besides, what are you so fearful of? Then that knowing her true name wouldn't change anything? That it wouldn't help her develop her noble phantasm? I declare that as an unnecessary concern, because... Magical experience is already completed. Her fears don't depend on whether no possesses a noble phantom. Come on, tell me who it is! Also, even if her noble phantom fails to develop, she'll never stop standing up for her beliefs. For the sake of what she believes in, she must bust her courage and fight to the very end. Damn. I apologize, I unshamedly flew into rage. Anyway, do you mind if I speak openly now? This fate was bestowed upon you. The name of the heroic spirit who saved your life. Master, is it really okay? Of course. Okay, although I wish it was something a little more special. Please tell me, Mr. Hall, my true name, the real name of this shield. Very well, then I shall tell you everything like a true detective would. First off, how did Shaldi stabilize the heroic spirit summons? By being in possession of something that gathers heroic spirits. Uh, a seed where many heroes once gather. Uh, is the round table the servant? Should I process that really like, use it as a catalyst for some of Process that really use it? They're using that. What? I'm sure you can understand this, Miss Lano. That while the weapon she carries looks like she is not what it actually is. a table! The first time you contact with it's actually ground. What? Part is literally a round shield. Yes, perhaps something of a pun. Yeah, I, I, I'm good with puns, but that was unexpected. The core of her holy round shield is a round table. It's a what? See? Now listen well, Miss, Miss Carolite. The second heroic spirit summoned when you were young, the own successful result of Chaldea's heroic spirit fusion experiment. <gasps> the hero lamented the inhuman experiment of Chaldea, but staying in the present will preserve your life. The one who entrusted everything during the Chaldea bombing incident. That heroic spirit's name was Galahad. GALAHAD! One on the night of the round table, a whole night who only succeeded in the search of the holy... Hold on, what the? What? That would make sense in a, a twisted way. The whole night alone succeed in search of a holy grail. The, the noble phantasm that is the table that have summoning. Oh, God. God, the night. Mashu. 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 Yes, a son felt weak in the knees. I just had to sit down. But it wasn't painful or even surprising. I was just happy. I finally know the name of the person who believed in us and helped us back then. Galahad! What? I feel so happy. <laughs> I wonder if you have fought well enough to soil his name. See it just as I said. She's just that kind of girl. She never forgets gratitude. Why would she hold any pessimism in her heart towards the one who saved her life? 
Yes, it's exactly as you say. It seems Gala made the correct decision. They were e eons apart, they were different rays, but he truly didn't trust this person closest to him. What? Huh? Why was that drip? Bot level! Yay! Whee! But wait, 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 wait. What was that? Is, is she related, descendant to... What is it called? That dude? And yes, Major, you gotta hand it to me. Uh... <laughs> My god, there's been so many revelation stuff shit going on here right now. Oh god. Whew. My gosh. La Gala, Lano, you know how to... What? What now? Galahad, what? Gala, well, you could say he Galahad. <laughs> Second there. But my god. But you know, I'm actually gonna take a break for now. I've been melting here right now. There have been so much revelations. Now he doesn't need to know what, what, what Roman is behind. What's going on with that thing? God damn it. Holy crap. I love this. But I will be back though with more later on. So thank you for watching. See you later on. Have a continue great day.